ओके बेटा नाउ फिफ्थ पार्ट इज फोर्थ पार्ट यू विल डू योर सेल्फ फिफ्थ पार्ट इज द सम ऑफ द डिजिट ऑफ अ टू डिजिट नंबर इज ए लेट अ टू डिजिट नंबर is equal to 10a plus b because this is my unit digit and this is my tens unit okay and they said if its digits are reversed the new number so formed is increased by 18 and Let this is my two-digit number. In the first line, they said sum of the digits of that number is eight. Means a plus b is equal to eight. This is my first condition. And second is if you reverse the digits, means ten b plus a. That is equal to The new number so formed is increased by eighteen. So the new number is formed that is increased by eighteen of the original number. This is my original number. So ten a plus b plus eighteen. Now subtract this. Take take this term to the left side. 9b minus 9a is equal to 18. Take 9 common. So 9 into b minus a is 18. So my b minus a is 18 upon 9. That is equal to 2. So what we got? B minus a is equal to 2. This is our second condition. Now. Adding one and two. Adding one and two. What we have? This is a. This is minus a. So they are cancelled out. So two b is equal to eight plus two ten. So my b is equal to ten by two. That is five. So b is equal to five. <clears throat> Now put this five in the one. So a plus five is equal to a. So a is equal to three. So my two digit original number is thirty-five. Means this will become thirty plus five. That is. 35. So this is my answer. Clear? Okay. Now come to the second question. Second question is: Circle three numbers which are added to make the number given in the box. So we have to circle those numbers by adding those three. We will get a box number. Listen, my box number is two eighty, and I have options of sixty, eighty, hundred, one twenty, one forty, one sixty. So I have to circle those three numbers. Which will give me 280 on addition. You can choose any three numbers, but your sum should be 280. Clear? So I'm I'm choosing this number, this and this. You can see 60 plus 100 plus 120 is equal to 280. 
So I will circle those numbers. Rest of the two parts are similar. So you can do yourself. Now come to the third question. Question number three is use any five out of the given digit cards to fill the blank boxes. Listen, what we have one, eight, 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 two, 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 and two. And now we are to choose five digits that will satisfy this. And in these type of questions, better your answers can be different. So no issue. It should satisfy the condition. Okay. I want zero here. I am putting eight there and two there. Eight plus two, ten. One carry. Now I want one there. Again choose same. Eight plus two, ten. Ten plus one, eleven. So one carry. Here is 2. 2 plus 1, 3. So this is the required answer. You can choose any digits and your answer can be different in these type of questions. Okay. Second part is for you. And fourth question is quite similar. That you can also do yourself. Next is fifth question. Question number five. Question is X and Y are two positive numbers. X plus Y is 220. X plus Y is 220. This is question number five. And the difference between x and y is 20, means x minus y is only 20. Then fill the correct answers, means they said what is the value of x and y. Better add them, this is 1 and 2, so adding 1 and 2. What we get? 2x is equal to 240. So my x is equal to 240 by 2. That is 120. So x is equal to 120. This is the required answer. But we need y also. To so put this x value in the 1, we get 120 plus y is equal to 220. So my y is equal to 220 minus 120. That means y is equal to 100. So this is our required answer. Clear? 6 is also same, similar. Okay, now come to the question number 7. Now we will start question number 7. 6 is for you because it's similar to question number 5. Question number 7 is If P and Q are two positive numbers, P plus Q is equal to 80. Sorry, 480. If P plus Q 
is 480 and P is 40 greater than Q means P is equal to Q plus 40. This is the condition we have. And then find the P and Q. Very easy better. Just put this value of P in this one. We get Q plus 40 plus Q is equal to 480. So 2Q is equal to 480 minus 40. So 2Q is equal to 440. So my Q is equal to to uh, 440 by 2 that is equal to 220. So now Q, if Q is equal to 220 my P becomes P is equal to 220 plus 40 that is equal to 260. So P is equal to 260. Okay.